All right, what is up, everybody? Yeah, we're actually uh, actually doing a stream working on some stuff in Reaper here today. It's uh, it's it's a rare thing, I think. Actually, I, I do it pretty often, but we're we're gonna be doing some some project building. So we're gonna go ahead and dig into this. I'm gonna kind of play through what I have. All right, and then let's kind of jam through what I got. So I spent some time working on it already a little bit today. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna play through what I have so far, and then we're gonna start working through all the parts. stuff I'm going to change for sure. better fill there. Oh, it's a bummer. Need to change that beat there. I like it the first time, but not the second time. It's kind of a long track, actually. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. And we have the little proggy section, so those guitars are a little loud. Also gonna blow these up a little bit so the tracks are a little bit more visible for everybody. We don't have a lot of tracks yet. I'm just getting started on this. I'm trying to map all the drums out and then I'll start laying guitars down and then probably get into keyboards. So that gets us as far as I've gotten so far in the song. There's still another three minutes or so to map out here. Um, but we got a few different things we got to do to get us to the ending here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to track what we have up to now. So I'm going to play through the parts that I'm going to be playing and then start laying in all the backup guitars that I'm going to need. So we'll do a lot of guitar tracking here. And then after that, we'll probably go ahead and do the... Uh, do the rest of the drums because we still have a bit of drums to do.
wasn't good. Dr. Parker, thank you. Trying to track some guitars. Humble 88 or 888, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, wait, okay, I'm gonna punch you in there. That beat's gotta change. Yeah, fuck like that, you're right. This song is specifically for Darth Radius. It's one of his favorites that I've ever done. Yeah, this whole uh this whole song is very piratey and very happy. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and lay in some of the other guitar parts up to there so I know where I'm at. We're going to kind of have to slowly work through this track because I'm not... It's been many, many years since I've played this song, so I don't remember how all of it goes. Nope, screwed that up. Let's try it again. Oh, Reaper is the program I use. So, you know, people who use the, who, who use this program, the hashtag Reaper gang. Missed it again. Trying again. It seems very common among streamers. wasn't right. to record all of this. Fuck. Played the wrong thing. Let's try and hit that last section again. I'm going to re-record that because that was weak. 
Ah, that was all shit. I'm gonna have to practice this song a lot. Personally, I find like uh, I, I think e drums are the way to go anymore. If I were gonna play drums, that's a, that's absolutely the way I would go. It's gonna take so much work. Oh, uh, what is that? I gotta get so much better at this kind of guitar again. I'm really bad at these songs. This stuff used to be no problem for me at all, and now it's like super struggle bus. That was shit, but we'll keep it. Ah, I'll copy paste something. UA is the way to go, in my opinion. But I think we all know my love for it. I don't think anybody's surprised by my love of the Universal Audio stuff. Okay, that's at least enough to get us writing and get keyboards going. I've gotten really used to it over the years. Like I'm really good at like finishing up a take and being able to like quickly reset everything. It's something that I've done so, so often in my life that I guess I've kind of got a feel for it. I also really need to remember to tell these things to preserve the PDC delay because they're not. And all of my guitars are a little off time because of it. That's not good. Yeah, so... Uh, even with like really low latency, there's still because of the plugins, there's still like a little bit of um, basically you get like a latency from the plugin. Like if I pull this up, you'll see I've got like an extra 256 samples of latency from the plugins that I have on the chain. And so that PDC delay basically just, you know, it, Reaper can account for that. You can tell it to uh, preserve the PDC delay so that way it'll keep it where you played it essentially. I wish I could record in 96, but unfortunately there's just with the size of projects I have and stuff going on, it just doesn't work. I've tried. Ugh, my timing is just garbage.
Now we're gonna punch into that lead because I did it shit. Total shit. Here we go. Herbage. That wasn't going to be quite right. I'm going to have to redo that a little bit because I'm pretty sure we also need to change to 50 BPM right there. I want to just hear through it with some of the harmonies. I don't think it comes in till partway through. That goes up. Let's go. I need to render this down from this 150 marker because I need this guitar. I'm not going to play this. I'm going to sample this from the original album because I really like the particular sound of it. So I'm going to go ahead and render that out. Bring it into the other project. Um, put it in the audio files and we'll call this Bridge Guitar wave I want the time selection make sure it's in stereo good to go there we are that should only take a moment to render out so now it should be over here in my uh, project directory bridge guitar hooray that was easy We might make that a little, little bit less high-end tinny eventually. I'm not sure yet. Ah, now I gotta change my tuning for the ending. A little too aggressive. A little too like. Not quite what I'm looking for. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, definitely a bit too 90s alternative. This is where I really wish I had a like an actual drummer to work with. Like this stuff works, but it's definitely not the way I would love to do things. Yeah, it's so hard to find a good drummer. That's not ultimately what I want, but it's gonna work for the moment, just so we can start making some progress on this. I know that sounds like it just kind of goes on forever, but eventually it'll fade into a different section, I think. It's a little country.
Yeah, drummers, and that's the tough thing too, is if you ever find a good drummer, like there's a very good chance that they're going to have work or be busy with other projects or 10 million other things that make it very difficult to to do much. Um, I think real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself like a little electro drum kit. I don't know if it'll actually be what ends up happening or not, but let's see here. Let's do the rods and tape and then distort them. Give it a little bit of a lo-fi bit crush kind of thing. Yeah. I think we're gonna do something like that. I'll work on the exact tone of it later, but, because that's probably not exactly what it'll sound like, but that'll give me the basic idea. Oh, I didn't know which way to sneeze. I couldn't decide. Where do I wanna go here? Also, I don't know why it does that sometimes. Get up there. And then we'll just copy that over. So we're just doing this little floor tom build. And these go a little bit longer than that because it's gonna fade in. So maybe we'll do like a full eight bars. I think that should be good. I think we're doing straight, so we don't want it to, I don't want something on the crash. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Okay, so those are all 0% match, 0% match. There's too much messing around. I'm gonna have to spend some time, like once I once I get the whole song mapped out, I'm gonna have to really just dig in and like, maybe get on the electronic kit and just play through a whole bunch of drums or something. Always gotta start with the drums. sure why I hit that rough but uh, let's do get double bass stuff going on where's double bass double kick that's kind of what I'm looking for let's try that out Good enough for now.
I don't remember. It's super generic metal butt rocky stuff. I'm gonna have to go through and relearn all of these guitar solos. This melody thing's cool though. Uh, So let me think here. I think we got the basic vibe of everything. I need to record a lot more guitars, but I probably will do production stuff before that. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer, honestly. Let's region that. Call it. I do like these beats in the beginning. That's kind of similar to the original, but better. I'll have to work on the rhythms a little bit. And definitely the fills. I'm trying to decide if I want to add... Why am I not getting grid? Also, let's go to triplets this whole song for the most part is in triplets maybe i think we might want to add one more but 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 but, but. i think that's supposed to be there hey one more over and then same with you That one over too? Okay. Okay, so let's just not hit it there. There we go. And then let's repeat that, but let's get a new fill at the end. I don't want that same fill again. I like the ending. That might be a little overly aggressive. I don't know if we want to go that balls to the wall. Let's, let's try it though. Let's see what it does. It's, it's cool, but it's a little too much. Just a little bit too much. Let's see if we can find something similar, but no. I actually kind of like that one. Get that metal metal fill section. There we go. That's cool. What's up, Calcium? How are you doing tonight? Okay, so let's find a good good two beat. Oh, let's uh get into the right tempo so I can actually tell what it's gonna sound like. Let's try this one out, cause I don't like these, I don't like these D boots, D beats, they're just not doing the trick. So what does this sound like? It's not quite the right, not quite the right groove, but. What was the original? Let me find what the original beat was. It was an old school, easy drum roll on Okay, so it's straight punk beat. There we go. I don't think I've ever actually seen any It movies. I've never, never actually seen one before. I actually like that. That's that's not bad at all. Yeah. 
I mean, it works in the context of the, the bad songwriting I had at the time. That's the Matt Halpern stuff. That's not going to be useful for this. Metal Beats. Swing 4-4. We were in song 7. Let's find another fill that... Uh, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, we're, we're still there. Um, I'm going to pull, actually, the end of that fill for when it comes over here, just because I think he does it a little bit better than what I programmed. Also, I like ones that are actually played. Although, let's see if we can add a snare here in the beginning. Wait, does it start with a snare? Yeah, we'll do double snares. That's, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so now we need another fill. Something's not too crazy. Also not quite that long. That's what's too crazy right there. Um, once again, a little bit too much dirt. That's the one we used before. I like that one. That one's got a nice, smooth vibe to it to get us to this next section. Repeats that beat. So this is where we're gonna go. I think I'm gonna get out of the swing time here because it goes to a straight. So let's get to the, the straight 4-4 four four and see if we can find something real. Something that changes the vibe for a moment. Something on the toms, maybe. It's a little, let's see here. Let's, let's find one that's more the right tempo. Oh, nope, fills. God damn, Dirk. Okay, we are actually real fast here. We're, we are at like 170. Yeah, get some sacks. That'll that'll be an interesting one. Let's try that out. Let's see what that does. Cause I wanted to, f like, I wanted to transition into this next riff. Okay, so it'll work, but I think we need to keep the consistent kick drum going on throughout it because we are in straight time here so we don't have to worry about it being the the swing time let's just pace those in and keep that going i did have some berry sax on uh the last record i put out a couple years ago actually my roommate jeremiah played some berry sax on it there we go once we have the bass in there this section will be nice and heavy I'm not entirely sure about this beat, but I kind of like the changing groove for a minute. Like having to be down tempo. Oops, didn't move that. What's up, Halloween Rain? How you doing? We're just chilling and working on one of these old songs that I haven't messed with in 10 years. This is a song that I actually have never played live. Um, when I had the band back in the day, we put the record out, and this is one that we never actually arranged or were able to play live. I, I found a different kind of groove that I wanted to use. And it was this one, right? Metal Machine. I think that's going to be work 
And then we'll change to maybe. Now let's do number three. That way we have some variety to it. And then maybe we'll change the fill at the end to something a little bit more aggressive. You're learning Chinese? Damn, that sounds uh, very challenging. I don't think I have that in me. Let's see here, we'll start it like right there. And then does this have a crash on the front of it? Beautiful. Still not sure about this beat though. I kind of like the variety of it, but I'm not 100% sure. got a long way to go believe me very long way to go makes that part jump out a little bit more I like that God, that riff's gonna kick my ass forever. Hitting wrong buttons. Let's get that a little bit more off in the distance. those fade which we can go ahead and write that in now real fast and we have a lot of a lot of keyboard work to do here. This is probably gonna be one of the hardest sections of the song to figure out. Oh, did I not record a second guitar for that? Also, let's go ahead and write the fades in for this too. Cause, let's see here, we should probably have it fully faded in by about here actually. Um, actually, you know what? That can just stay down. We don't even need to come back up there. Just look like that. Let's do the same with these drums. Um, we'll just bus it. So there, that's where we're out. Um, get that to fade away too. There we go. So what should happen here is heavy part should start fading in, the clean should start fading away. And now we need to figure out what to do with this section. I 
think I wanted to be double time that on the crashes. Definitely can't have that same fill coming around every single time. Need to take that out. Okay, so we're real close. We're getting close to the full map of this song being built. I just need to figure out what I want to do with this. What is this in? I might just end up playing this one. It's so close to what I want, but just not quite. This one's actually a lot closer to what I want. I just... I kind of wish when he would play these grooves that he wouldn't throw the fills in like that just because it makes them a little bit more difficult to use because then I got to like kind of cut it in half and decide where I want to put my own fills in. So we might do that. We might just kind of like loop this beat like this and then just go decide where we want to do fills rather than where he was playing them. Let's check that out just as a basic groove. I actually like having the toms in there as well, um, but let's let's ditch these hats for a uh, crash. Somewhere here, I have a crash that'll work. I think that's the one I want to use. And then these are all of like the softer hits. I could understand why you would think that. And then we'll throw in some bigger fills here every time we get to the ending of the section. Not a fill like that. Where's where's the lower intensity fills, guy? Come on. <laughs> Good God. Okay, let's get out of there because that's completely useless. Let's find one that's more in the tempo range. Um, yeah, gotta gotta find that buddy fill and throw him in. I know, right? This this. This particular drummer has like no low intensity. Um, that's actually kind of cool. If I'm being completely honest, he's not one of my favorite drummers in the world. I think he's a little bit too busy and it just sounds like a bit of a mess. But for this particular song with the swing feel and everything, it just seems to work the best. We'll go for one of the bigger fills here. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. We'll go for that one. We're heading into the double kick section. That makes sense. Then we're going to do the same thing here because I don't like the fill he does every single time around. Um, so where's this, where's this second part at? Do we have any that keep the double bass going? I don't like those doubles over doubles sometimes. 
With the China? Yeah, let's let's take a look and see. I don't see anything with the China, but we can... Maybe there's something in the blast metal that'll be pretty crazy. That's a little much. Let's do something like that, and then I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and sub in that China. So if we just move this to the China. There we go. I'll probably start getting a little bit more buck wild with each repetition. Let's see if we Let's find something a little bit more intense. I don't like these two bar ones. I like the one bar ones. That one's cool. Let's throw that in for the next repetition. Yeah, like I said, it'll just kind of get more and more big fills as we go. What does this one sound like? Cool. And then I think what we'll do there since we're heading towards the end of the track is just start smashing on the crash. And this, uh, this will be fading out as well. So like by the time we get here, we're pretty well faded away. So since it's going to be like really faded away, let's go ahead and throw in one that's just like balls to the wall, way too intense, probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, something ridiculous like that. Although I kind of wouldn't mind it being a two bar. What are some of the two bar ones? Yeah, we'll see you in a bit, Calcium. That's not intense enough. Some of these are just not quite as intense as I would like them to be. Let's check out this first one I threw in here. <laughs> okay, that doesn't make any sense at all. It's just, it, it just doesn't match the rest of what's going on. That could if I pulled just the back end of the fill. Try just the back end of it. There we go. That's better. And then we're not even going to worry about the last one because, it I mean, it's faded out by now anyways. So who cares? So now we have the whole way through the song. Um, this is Electro Drums. And then we're going to do one more called Drum and Bass. Drum and Bass. Get all that in there. Okay. I don't know why that track's even there. We don't need it. This is just guitars. I do a lot of a lot of bussing and a lot of grouping. So this is live guitar. That's what I'm going to play. Back guitar. Backing guitar. Backing guitar. I don't know. I don't know exactly how to put that. That's my main backing guitar. This is going to be where I need to do rhythm fills cleans let's change the color of that a little bit let's brighten it up a little bit and separate it out from the rhythms sample guitar should be inside the guitar bus down at the bottom and we'll make that purple just so i know that it's different it's not my purple which one's my purple that's green there we go purple now we got some organization drums are done i'm gonna go ahead and glue all those drums together and that way we can have one global view of them. That's a whole lot of notes. I do like that they color code them. I don't know when they started doing that, but it's pretty useful. Oh, keyboards. I don't even know what all sections need keyboards or how overboard I want to go on keyboards. I know this section needs a lot. And I'm not really thrilled about doing them either.
so that part's definitely going to have a second guitar. solo okay i mean i could I, it seems like it's going to be generic and just have strings under everything but i don't really want to do that i don't really want to just put strings under everything that's kind of boring but it does fit this genre for sure this like piratey metal just using all orchestral instruments and not a ton and ton of synthesizer stuff but i don't necessarily like that. Um, I'm going to start with the Mellotron. I'm going to try that. Damn these things. Nope, C major. Let's mess with the sound a little bit though because I don't think it's quite right. Not that I don't like this. I actually do like that choir work Tron. Mm. That's also really cool. What does that sound like behind the mix? I like it. But it may need something underneath of it too. Yeah. And then I think what we'll do is we'll stack that other cool sound on top of it and blend them with the multi. Um, I don't want that, I want stack mode. Very cool. I know I'm gonna use strings in a lot of other sections of this song, so I'm trying to, like the next section, I'm probably using strings, so I'm kind of trying to avoid them and going for something a little synthier. Just because I know what's coming next. Let me hear how that sounds with everything. Kind of like it. because that's going to annoy me. This part's going to have to have a bunch of harp in it, and I don't remember how to play any of it. There's some key changey kind of things, and it's going to take me a while to figure it out, I'm sure. I'm going to have to go listen to the original track and get a feel for it. Okay, so let's do the string section for this. I'm going to just do like a... 
like a generic Omnisphere strings patch rather than go for like individuals, I think. There we go. That's it. an octave though I said I think it should be a, a little bit more higher register like shine since I'm gonna have a bass guitar going I think it's gonna be pretty simple though <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like I'd be destined to screw myself if I tried to do a backflip. Like, there'd just be no way I would come out of it alive. I I would for sure die. We're just gonna try doing thirds. Simple, but. Ooh, I like that. Uh, let's see here. Goes to A. Maybe go down to C there. That could be nice. But this is just going to be underlying harmony, so I mean, it's not like it needs to be crazy complex or anything. I just wanted to kind of fill up space and really make the part shine. <coughs> I like the ninth there. That's nice. How does it sound against the rhythm guitar, though? I like it. <laughs> so now let's do something with the violins. Maybe the violins can do something a little bit more expressive. Maybe we can get some more movement. It's Maybe just something as simple as that will work. Let's pick a different articulation though, something that's a little bit quicker. Uh, the legato is just a little... The detache is not bad. I want to make sure it's not stepping on the the solo melody though cuz we definitely got to think about that. I don't want to be getting in the way of the guitar line. I think it's going to be fine. Maybe Maybe 
it should just stay up on that E because I think one of the other instruments goes down. So let's check that out. What does that do? One of them got real loud there. Mm, I like that. That worked out nicely, and then we'll just have to fade them all down so that they all get out at the right time. Okay, it's the violins that are a little too loud. We're going to be doubling those up with an octave also, so let's go ahead and do that now. And we'll just repeat that exact melody with a second set of violins, I think. These are definitely a very different kind of sound. Let's see here. So we'll leave the legato on. Let's do like a arco legato. What does it sound like an octopire? Yeah, cool. I'm not even going to bother replaying this one since it's a totally different sound and a totally different octave. We're just going to do that and see what it does. Nice. That thickens up nicely. And then here maybe... Oh, right, I wanted to move all this up an octave, didn't I? Um, there we go, now it's all up an octave. Gives it that real romantic bit of thickening. Let's put a little bit of compression on this, though. I know it's a little bit weird to compress a string section, but... We're also going to pull a little bit of the low end out of it, I think. Because I really just want this to add some shine back behind the mix. Let's see what that does. It's got a very, very classical vibe to it now. So let's play it in a little bit and see where we're at. Might add a little bit of verb or something to it just to spice it up a little bit, but I think that works for now. So now we have our basic string section built and we can use it wherever we want. We might need to change the articulation there, I'm not sure. So 
So in the second half, let's move everything up to the harmony line. So let's see here. Um, where these all need to be. I think they all need to go up actually a little bit more. That's going to be a mess. <laughs> That's fun. That should be there. That should be there. I just did. I, I went. I went one note short on all of my harmony choices. Let's see here. That one seems. No. 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 Okay. I understand now. Wow. This. Uh. This color coding actually is really useful. So if I'm understanding this correctly, should be right there. <laughs> Should be there, I think. Okay. It sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean. So let's see here. We'll have the cello just follow the bass line, uh, which should be D. Boo -do 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 -do. That was fun. There we go. Simple, and then we'll harmonize that with the violas. That's nah, too too much. We could go there maybe. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely. Once you hit those those lower limits, you want to keep everything pretty pretty simple, or it gets muddy real quick. It's hard to throw in a lot of good harmony and stuff once you hit that low register. <laughs> there we go, I like that. Actually, that sounds kind of cool to... Maybe something like that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Maybe that. You gotta kind of really stick to arpeggiating the chords. Yeah, that sounds really good. Let's try that out. It was a little late coming in there.
I think that worked just fine. Pretty much just staying right in those triad harmonies and keeping everything, n no big extensions or anything. It doesn't really uh, make sense for this genre of music anyways to throw in a bunch of crazy extensions or anything like that. So let's check that out. I'm going to throw up the rhythm guitar here and see how it sounds along with it that I played super shitty. <laughs> Straight up Ailstorm. <laughs> this just sounds like a folk metal, power metal band, doesn't it? Like, it's just, it's right in there. Let's hear it with the drums and all the guitars and everything. Once we get bass in here, it'll get real heavy. So piratey. Might have to do like some orchestral hits there. Papa, papa. Some something to really spice up those hits. So it's actually an F. Okay, that makes sense that it would be an F. F. Ba, ba, da. Should be like that. We'll just kind of draw those in. Those will work. This is just going to hold C. Like all the way through there. And we'll do it with a little bit less attack that way it's not so aggressive also was this when i when i manually entered this one did they get all super loud a couple of them did get pretty loud so we're just going to do big chords here with the with the strings i think also it's not going up to g that's stupid a let's see You guys gotta tell me when I say stupid things like that. A, C. Let's see how that sounds. We'll probably do this with both violins. Oh, let's get rid of that. That might be a little bit too much to give it like the full dominant chord here. It'd be a little too classical maybe. What does that sound like with the rhythm guitar? Is that still, I mean, obviously it works with just a string section, but. Just needs to be really, really staccato. But writing orchestral stuff is always a lot of fun. I don't know why, I just, I always write, enjoy writing four piece, four part uh, orchestral things. I, I definitely have a lot of, like a, a lot of learning to do about it. To, to be better at it, but. Cool. So what does the whole string section sound like? It's very classical. We'll sub that note up an octave. And that's how we'll walk up.
and then we can just do the harmony of that here, um, which would be, uh, and then let's go up above maybe, and that way we get like a, a good leap. I'm trying to get a little bit of counterpoint into this. Let's, let's check it out just these two lines. I wanna make sure that we're not getting a weird, weird textural thing. Cool. I actually like it. I think it just needs some work on the, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? One of these is too loud. Yeah, you are just too loud. That was the deal. It was jumping up in, in, in velocity. So let's hear, let's hear just the string section. I want to hear how this goes. I like it. <laughs> I might change the articulation to a staccato there at the end so it really pops that. to the thrash. That I played sloppy as fuck. I'm gonna have to work on that riff so much. So I want to do something other than strings there just because it's what I've been doing this whole song. I don't really want to just play strings the whole tune. Um, for this next section, at the very least, though, we can do like a, a Tron or something to, to break it up a little bit. That's really, really evil. Um... Ooh, that's cool. It's it's a little too loud. Yeah, Reaper and UA is quite the combo. I'm into it. Oh, that's a that's a nice evil Mellotron. Goes all the way down to C. Didn't quite get up there quickly enough. Actually, it might be cool to drop down an octave for that part too as well. I think we'll drop an octave and I'm gonna go tighten those notes up because I played it pretty garbagey. Da, 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 da. Let's drop those all an octave. I also kind of screwed up the guitar lead, so that's part of why it sounds garbagey.
see if we can pump it a little bit. Quicker attack. See if we can compress it down a little bit and get it to be a little bit more tame. Okay, so that ending part needs to be, get this in the right spot. Because I think we're going to want the strings to take over the melody. And then we'll get big like a big pad or something to fill up the space there. I don't want to do strings again for that section. We'll do some big spacious green strings pad or maybe a Newman stack or something. I do need to get rid of these held notes at the end. But we'll definitely do, do that. There's still a lot missing, but I want to try and kind of get a feel and a vibe for where I'm at. I'm going to render this Tron down. Um, now I'll just go ahead and play. Here we go. It sounds so much better with the bass guitar in there. And when the guitar player doesn't play it like shit. See, he fucked up there. definitely needs something. Some kind of pad. I should probably get the bass recorded first though so I kind of have an idea of what's going to be in there. Very metal. Very happy pirate metal. That hashtag Reaper Gang. Need to fade those guitars. And then we have the Into the Forest. There's gonna be a flute melody on this eventually. It'd be fun if I had a flute, if I could actually like play it. I get around to it quickly enough.
yeah, you're not wrong there, HK. It's uh, pretty much anything you want to do. This program seems to seems to handle it. Need to get the synth melodies in here. Yeah, you're definitely not wrong. And then I need to work on this whole section a ton. This is going to be a, a long part to work on, but I'll start working on that tomorrow probably, or the next time I stream this, hide some of this automation. Now well, project's looking pretty good, slowly making, making gains. Thank you everybody for coming out. Um, I had a lot of fun working on this music stuff and uh, being able to write and kind of produce and stuff while we're doing this, so appreciate you coming and hanging out, and uh, I'll be back here in a little bit. Take it easy.